it's Miss Cafe LA here. And as you see from the title, we are going to do the jumbo donut bun. Now my hair, again, yet again, <laughs> has been uh, stretched out. It's basically been in a high puff for about, at this point it was about maybe four days. So this style works great on stretched out hair, preferably stretched out hair. Now what I'm gonna use today is a water bottle, your gel of choice, some bobby pins, a brush, of course your donut bun, and this is optional, some styling balm and some Kanekalong braiding hair. So here we go. Again, we're gonna smooth the hair up. Um, not necessarily slick, but I just kinda like a light smooth. So just go ahead and smooth your hair up. Now with this donut bun, I want mine sitting right on top of my head. So I'm just making sure I have it in the right position and I'm gonna go ahead and secure my ponytail holder, again, right at the top of my head, as such. All right, so get your donut bun. Now this donut bun comes in different sizes, obviously different colors depending on your hair color. It's almost kind of like a mesh material. Normally that's, you know, suicide for us natural hair girls, but it almost works out great in this case. I'm going to show you in a moment. So take your stretchy uh, donut ponytail holder and go ahead and just secure that, you know, wherever you'd like, of course. See, mine's at the top of my head as such. And what I'm gonna do right now, um, I'm gonna get the bobby pins ready. I don't need them yet, but I'm basically just smoothing over my puff over the outside of the donut bun, so to speak. And I'm just taking the ends of my hair and just tucking it underneath the bun. Now, as I mentioned, since it's kind of like a mesh material, uh, my hair, it grasps my hair perfectly. Um, you know, some people love that, some people hate it. In this case, it doesn't mind. It's very, very secure, even without bobby pins. Now, I wanna show you the back because I am bringing out my bobby pins for this. Um, now, the back, since it's such a high bun, um, you know, I want to make sure that the back is secured as well. So I'm taking, again, the ends of my hair, tucking it under the bun itself, and just adding an extra few bobby pins um, just to make sure everything is uh, a-okay. maybe a little bit shorter or if you just want some peace of mind again go ahead and go back where you don't feel it's secure and just add a few more bobby pins now this part is optional again my hair is naturally curly so I'm taking this uh, main element love styling balm and just smoothing that on my en edges excuse me <laughs> again I'm not going for a slick black slick backed look but I do want it to look smooth so basically we are done with round one but wait all right, this is something extra that I went ahead and decided. Um, just to polish up or kind of finish off this bun, what I did is basically added a, I don't know what to call this, a large twist extension, whatever. So again, I just twisted that in a two strand twist all the way down and I'm just wrapping that around the bun. Again, this is optional. I just kind of thought this ties um, they'll look together a little better. So and again, just taking those leftover bobby, bobby pins and securing that as well. And once you feel that that hair is secure, we are finally done. So something um, to do, on, again, on a bad hair day or maybe not quite wash day. So there's the left, there's the right, there's the back, and we are done. Stay tuned for pics. Thanks for watching.